So hello everybody. Uh, thank you for joining us today. We'll be going over a short presentation of the changes and additions we've introduced in uh, Viewer API 2. Showcase a few of them. And then finally, we'll let you know how you can access uh, the library yourself, try it out, so you can do your own experiments. Now, um, I think the main purpose of this community stand-up is to provide you with, uh, with an early build for the viewer's new API, uh, hoping that you can provide us with valuable feedback. We've already prepared a bunch of examples along with the library itself, uh, so you can get a better feeling for uh, the new API and see how well it fits your needs. Now, I think we need to clarify first why we decided to redesign the API. Uh, originally, the viewer was developed with our front-end needs in mind, but uh, over time we realized people wanted to build their own applications using the viewer, since it's a public library. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the current state of the API makes it hard for them to do that. Customizing uh, or extending the current viewer is difficult, since it was originally designed uh, in a black box-ish fashion. Uh, additionally, we've also realized that people wanted to load in various data input formats, like say GLTF, OBJ, etc. And the current API does not allow to, you to do that, and it's only limited to spec of streams. So what we did is we broadened the API. Uh, as some of you know, the current API is uh, monolithic in the sense that you can make you make your viewer object and then everything you need is right there. We decided to change this on API 2 and we modularized it. Uh, now we have a viewer core, which can have any number of pluginable extensions. The viewer core strictly handles the internal workings of the viewer and is obl oblivious to any specialized features like, I don't know, say sectioning or filtering or what have you not. Extensions are plugins into the viewer core and they handle specialized features and also offer their own API. We built a series of these stock extensions. The ones you see here are just uh, some of them. Now, what this means is that uh, you can customize the existing stock functionality by extending these extensions, expanding upon them. And if that's not enough, you can even make your own, right? Uh, API 2 comes with another change. Uh, you can now load traditional data input formats by uh, making use of customizable loaders and converters, but we'll get more into that later on. Uh, just a few more details about the viewer core. It has a thin API, uh, and you can you can uh, actually use the viewer core as uh, an individual component. If you don't want any other specialized features, you can just use the viewer core as it is and build your application like that. Uh, what the viewer core does is uh, basically the heavy lifting. It's, uh, it's doing the batching, the relative to eye rendering, handles the acceleration structures, and it also offers you via its API access to some of those. Now, what we try to keep well, it as free friendly as possible so that um, some of you guys have three JS background, you can easily grasp what's going on. And it's, it's also, it also makes it easier to mix in traditional 3JS notions and, and concepts. And like I said, it can be used independently. You don't, you don't really need the extensions in order for it to work, of course. Uh, let's go over some of the extensions we've mentioned. So there's the camera controller. It's, uh, it's basically the same camera controller that you already know, but it's, it's provided now as a separate extension. This means that uh, if, if, if you're not uh, satisfied with it, you can expand on it or even make your own, right? You can handle the input whichever way you want, make your own camera controller extension and use that instead. Uh, filtering is the same filtering functionality that we have, but it's being moved to a new extension. 
the measurements. Now, this uh, we have had measurements for a while now. Uh, they're not currently present in our front end. There's not. They're not be. They have no uh, 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 implementation yet in the front end, but we have been having them for a while. And now they're provided, of course, as a separate extension since they're so specialized, in a sense. Uh, the differ, right? So this is, this is the same differ functionality that you already know, probably are familiar with. We've made it into a separate extension, and we also added a little bit more customization options while we were at it. Uh, and now your extension, right? So um, uh, making your own extension uh, is nice because extensions provide inbuilt access to the viewer core and its API. They also in sync with the viewer, the viewer cores, events, and lifecycle. And of course, they're shareable. So you make an extension, anybody could use it. Uh, coming back to input data formats, um, uh, the viewer core can now load data through customized loaders and converters. So this means that basically any input format can be loaded into the viewer. And uh, the viewer will just treat it like it does speckle streams or anything else, right? So there's no, um, there's nothing special that it needs to do if your input data comes from an FBX, say, rather than if it comes from a speckle stream. Uh, we also have an example on this. We'll get to that really, really soon. Now, uh, time timeline-wise, uh, the core and the stock extensions are available and functional. There are still a few issues we're trying to resolve. And of course, uh, we would like you to provide us with feedback so we can design API2 the best way we possibly can. Now, the viewer library is available here. It's on NPM. It's under the viewer next tag. Let's uh, let's have a look. So you can pull it from here, use it in your application. Uh, there's also a quick reference available. Uh, this is not full documentation. It's just a quick reference, so you can have you you can glance over the entire API and get an idea. Okay, so this is what this is what we're being offered, uh, and the examples that uh, that I've I, uh, I mentioned. So these are uh, uh, examples done in uh, uh, code sandbox applications. And for the demo, we'll actually look over a few of these. So let's say we want to look for at the measurements. So like I said, the the code box you have the code here, the application running here. You can change the code in real time things will happen, so it's really, really easy to get it going. You don't need to install anything, etc., etc. Uh, let's have a look for screen so we can better see. So the measurements, right, we have several features to them. We're not going to go, go uh, into details because uh, it's not really about this, but you guys can get in here, there are some options that you can change and see how it works. Uh, yeah, so we really like you to give it a try and uh, see how it's working out. Uh, okay, the o OBJ loader, right, the one that I mentioned, where we're loading in uh, the contents of an o o OBJ file. Uh, you have it here, let me put it up on big screen. Okay, it doesn't want to load. Okay, it loaded now. So yeah, this is an O. o originally, it, it comes from an OBJ file. It's loaded in, works the same way. No differences. Um, now this one's interesting because in this example, we're we're expanding on an existing ex extension. Um, uh, the selection extension, which uh, provides all the functionality needed to select stuff 
zoom in on stuff. So what we did is whenever you would select stuff, you would get this gizmo and you can move stuff around. You can multi-select even. So yeah, this is a good example for how you can expand on stock extensions like I, like I uh, mentioned before. And the last one, uh, this is also interesting because it's a custom extension, it's a new extension. It doesn't expand on anything. And what it does is it uh, categorizes uh, objects based on a specific property. So in, in this case is the category property and they've been categorized each in their own. Also that we've added the text and some additional stuff. Um, so yeah, well, we, we, we would really like you guys to give the examples a go, maybe even uh, uh, have a quick hack with the new API, see how you how comfortable you guys are with it. And of course, your feedback is very, very valuable. And uh, we're um, glad to receive it.